Now, your news on the go. And there's new information into the newsroom a short time ago about two Syracuse teenagers wounded in a shooting on the city's south side last night. And reports of that shooting coming from the 2000 block of South Salina Street near Wood Avenue around 1048. So when police arrived, they found several bullet casings. Later, they found out that a 14-year-old and a 19-year-old boy were both rushed to the hospital with gunshot wounds to the legs. Those injuries are said to be non-life-threatening, but if you have any information, give police a call at 315-442-5222. A Syracuse University student says they were assaulted and harassed over the weekend. The Department of Public Safety says the student was outside a local bar Saturday when he was called a homophobic slur and assaulted. His nose was hurt. Suspect described as a man about six foot two, thin build, blonde hair, wearing a pea coat. If you know anything about it, call SU's Department of Public Safety at 315-443. 2224. The House of Representatives goes into a historic vote today in the impeachment of Donald, President Donald Trump. So Trump is ex facing two articles of impeachment, abuse of power, and obstruction of Congress. If the House approves today, Trump will be considered impeached, but will stay in office. The next step is a Senate trial. Congressman John Katko is voting against the impeachment, while Congressman Anthony Brindisi is voting in favor. And after weeks of collections, families who have registered and are eligible are coming today to the On Center in downtown Syracuse for the annual Christmas Bureau Distribution Day run by the Salvation Army. Uh, the items will be given out at the On Center starting at 8.30 this morning until 6.30 tonight.